listen, man, we got to realize that, you know, we're a force to be reckoned with. You know, I'm coming back with another video. Your boy, Spiritual Socrates, whatever, whatever. You know. You got to realize that we're a force to be reckoned with. You got to realize that we have the answers within us. The Lord shall guide us through the hard times. Always does. Uh, you got to realize that the path, you know, the path that you take alone is sometimes the, the best way, even though it might not seem like it at the moment, because you see everybody else with people, they're all smiling and stuff. Don't, don't think just because people are smiling that their lives are perfect. Ain't nobody's life perfect. Nobody's life is perfect. Get that straight right now. Second of all, when you're a real one, a righteous person, walking in the righteous path, always have, or maybe you're, you're changing to being righteous now, or whatever, you know, whatever path you're on, you know, you realize that when you're, when you're doing the right thing, a lot of people, they just hate on you, because a lot of people, they just like gossiping, they just like, you know, passing their time, a lot of people are lazy, they don't want to work that hard, they don't want to, you know, really put their all in, in what they do, so, they get intimidated by a person that's righteous, always telling the truth, always being real, always hard working, getting all the great compliments, all the great comments by all the guests, customers, whatever you want to call them, you know, I was uh, at a job, at every job I have, you know, I have a talent with people, you know, I'm, I think it's all just because, you know, when you're straightforward and you're real and you don't cut corners and, you know, you just bring in, tell it like it is and you're actually sincere and when you say something... When I say something, I mean it. When I say something, I truly mean it. I'll stop at a stop sign, right, and let you pass because I'm letting you pass because I want you to pass because I'm sincere. Other people will smile in your face and stab you in the back. Period. Other people, they'll give, they won't give, they'll give you the time of day, but they won't give you the time of day. What I mean is they're fake. Two timing, two face, you know what it is, people. A lot of people are really fake, you know? They'll tell you everything you want to hear just to stab you in the back. They'll tell you, you look good today, oh, you, oh you're doing good today, good job, this and that, and then they'll walk away and be like, big ass, fake ass, this and that, mother. who this motherfucker think he is? Who this guy think he is? So he's just gonna walk by like this and that, talking hella shit about you. You know what I'm saying? They won't talk real, real bad about you. You know what I'm saying? The righteous people, we've been through the most. People that people like me, we have been through the most. Trials, tribulations, everything. And we're still here keeping the faith. Not letting anything steer us away. Not letting anything get, get in our way. Not letting anything change us for the worst. You know, your spiritual journey, your journey... The things you go through in life, all the all the problems, all the issues, can either bring you closer to the Most High God or further away. And that's plain and simple. So, you know, we've got to realize and ask ourselves where we are in life and, and uh, try to realize what can we do to stay as close as possible to the Lord. To always know that. We always have to know that the Lord is always with us. No matter what, God is always with us. God is always watching. No matter how hard your situation may be, remember that someone has it out there worse than you. There's always someone out there. And I know it might sound discouraging, but you just want to have a great situation. You just want to be doing well and always feeling well and everything. But that's just not reality. I mean, it is what it is. You know, a lot of us waking up, we realize that, you know, this whole life and everything that that we wanted and everything that we thought we needed and desired it's just all fake it doesn't bring true happiness you can have all the money in the world but if you don't got your freedom what's that money good for you know freedom means the more freedom you have the more choices you can make in life and you're able to make the more freedom you have you gotta understand we need, you need balance in life to be happy you gotta have Good relationships, the right partner, the right woman, right man, whatever. You know what I'm saying? 
we got to have the right, you know, be working towards our goal, living through our gift that God gave us. That's what I mean, to have a happiness in life, you must have balance. And as they say, too, happiness comes from within, and that's the show. That's a fact, too. To have happiness in life, you must have balance, you know? If you're not having a balanced life, and you don't, you're not getting all your needs met, you're not going to be happy. Completely. I mean, everything is uh, where you fo- put your focus on, too. Where everything is where, where you put your attention on is what, you know... Whatever you focus on in life, that's what you'll see more of. Haven't you seen it when you uh when you get a new car, right? And all of a sudden, right after you get that car, a Jaguar, Audi, whatever it is, right? You just start seeing that same model car everywhere you go. You start seeing that same model everywhere you go, cause that's where you put your focus on. You weren't, you didn't see it before when you okay before you were looking for a car, right? And before you knew exactly what kind of car you wanted, you never would see a certain vehicle on the road and pay attention to it with the same color. But once you put your focus on the type of car you want, the brand, the color, all of a sudden you start seeing that exact same car in like every intersection and a lot of different places. Because it's what you put focus on that expands. It's what you put focus on that you get more of in your daily life and your daily routine. We gotta understand that. We gotta understand that whatever we focus on, we will continue to get, continue to receive. If you focus on your that your health is bad, it's just gonna get worse. You know, if you focus that you're anxious, it's just gonna get even more anxious. You know, a lot of people don't realize how strong they really are. They let emotions get to them. They let daily emotions, little things that trigger them, get to them. You know what I'm saying? And, that, that's just a, you know, a lot of things in everyday life, it just tests, it's a test to, to, to test your character, it builds up your character, it molds us, you know what I'm saying, the most high God put us through the most difficult situations and persecutions and castrated us to mold us, to mold our character, mold our personality, so we can become our greatest version, the best possible you know, to become the best of the best. You know, you gotta have confidence. You gotta be strong. And you gotta, you know, understand that there will be a better day. There will be a better time to do the things that you want to do. Don't let no, you know, external forces stop you from achieving anything in life. And always go with your gut feeling. And always know that how you feel deep down matters. That matters with what you know. If you're about to make a decision, someone asks you if you want, they want to, yeah, they want to hang out with you, and all of a sudden you get an uneasy feeling. That means you got to stop and, and and listen to that feeling, man. You got to understand that your body's telling you something. Your subconscious is telling you that that might not be the best choice. Stop it and really think about it if you really should be making that decision. Um, a lot of people make the most mistakes because they don't think before they do something. They just go in, make their decision, and then they got to deal with the repercussions and, and learn from what they, you know, from the choice they, they made that they thought they weren't really thinking about what um, consequences it would have. Remember, just because uh, some people's families, right, have things to give on to their children doesn't mean that your parents owe you anything just because they didn't have anything to give you. They gave you the life, gift of life. God gave you gift of life. Your parents had you, brought you into this world. It's a beautiful life. Yeah, every day is a struggle, but you got to look at the beautiful things in life. There's a lot, too many to count. And remember, the good things in life come free. That's what I'm saying about having balance. You can have all the money in the world, but that won't bring you the, the things in life that come free, they come free. The most precious, valuable things that everybody wants in life, they don't cost money. Love reigns supreme over anything. We have to love ourselves, love each other. Remember that there's strength in numbers. They want us being set. They want us to be separated because they know that us together we are a force that can't be reckoned with. 
the strength in numbers. The more people, the stronger we are with the same vision. You know, a lot of people, they don't care about, you know, other people that much. They just want to, you know, and they just want to do whatever their unsensational appetites tell them to do. You know what I'm saying? And get on with their day. They don't really care about you. You know? There's uh, very few people that actually are sincere in this world, you know. That's why, yeah, of course, uh, the special people, the people that care, well, there's not going to be the majority isn't going to care. It's the totality. That's what, it's called the, that's what we're called the chosen one. There's not that many righteous people. Not too many people are going to make it to the other side to go to the kingdom of heaven. Because they chose Satan. Pure and simple. They like sinning. They sin on purpose. They sin to sin. They do it, you know, with righteous people. You know, no. Anybody says that they're without sin, they're a liar. And they a damn liar and the truth ain't it. Ain't nobody without sin. We're all human. How many we're spiritual beings having a human experience. And everybody having that human experience is, is not without sin. That's just how it is. You know what I'm saying? Anybody who says they're perfect has a damn lie. The opposite of that. So what I was saying is in this in this journey you're gonna realize that they're not gonna wanna talk to you. They're gonna be just you because you are an image the epitome of what people should be. You are an example. You set an example for people. You make them look in the mirror at themselves and and you, and you don't spot their flaws they see all their flaws because they're not like you they know that they should be like the brother right there that's always telling the truth that's not in other people's business that's not gossiping that's not fake you know what i'm saying at every job that i would go to i'd be honest hard working all the guests would like me i would get good compliments on my customer service everything be running smooth but i'd be the one that get my hours cut I wouldn't make it up to a management position. The place, lies told about me, fake rumors, all that. They hate on you because they're not you. They wish they were like you, but they know they don't got the courage to be like you. They know they don't have, they don't have the stamina like you. They don't got the courage to be like you. They don't, they don't have the courage. They, they're, you know, they're cowards, man. Because they won't tell you what it is to your face. When, you know, when I have an issue with somebody, I say to their face what my issue is so we can work it out right there. Be real. Righteous brother. You know, I, I say, I keep it to the point straight up, man. I give it to you like it is. I always said I got an unfiltered mouth. I'd rather have somebody with an unfiltered mouth telling me what's exactly what they feel rather than having somebody else telling me things that they don't even mean and just be talking bad behind my back. If you've got a problem, just say it to my face. What are you afraid of? Why are you such a coward? People are very cowardly. They just say things behind your back. They got a problem with you or won't assess the problem, won't address the problem. You know what I'm saying? They will say behind your back to other people, start rumors about you. I mean, trying to cause you hell on earth for no reason. And you didn't do nothing to these people. It's like, what did you do to these people? Nothing. But they hate you so much. They have demons in them. There's demons. The spiritual world is real. You don't know about that. Whatever happens in the spiritual realm, nothing happens in the physical realm without it going through the spiritual realm first. These demons know that you're shining and glowing before you even know it, before anybody on this realm even knows it. And they go to attacking you. The devil has his... As his uh, minions, you know, they come out just attacking you. They want to stop you from waking up. They see that you're waking up, that you're righteous, that you're doing what's right. They want to destroy you, but it won't work as long as you keep the faith. You know what I'm saying? If you don't got any haters, you're doing something wrong. The more haters you have, the more you're doing something right. I was hated on at every job I had. I didn't know why. I was hated on by my own. But a lot of my own friends, and I realized, had to realize that many, many years later, that they weren't who they really, truly were, were saying they were. Very fake. 
You know what I'm saying? Lesson in it, and that's just how it goes. People, you know, they're not really on, they're just playing the facade. They, they just always have a role to play, they're just playing a certain role in your life. They're faking, man. Come on, if anything, if I learned anything from all my experiences, I know how fake this world really is, and how fake people's love is. There's a lot of fake love out there, and it's getting worse. But you can't let I'm I, I, Truth, I'm not negative. Anybody that says you're negative when you're speaking the truth, you know who they are. They hate you. They're the ones that do those things that I'm talking about. They're the ones that are at your job, making someone's life difficult, talking shit to them, talking behind their back, doing things to make them look bad when they're not doing anything wrong. Saying that, you know, putting blame on you when they're the ones that are doing, doing you know, the evil deeds at work and getting away with it. You know what I'm saying? Anything you do in this world that's opposite of the norm, if you don't view a person that doesn't conform, you stick out like a sore thumb, people are going to have a problem with it. People turn into the police over here. They turn into the police. They want to tell you to wear a mask, when to wear a mask, try to complain that you're not wearing a mask, you're not listening to the rules. Just like someone said, so, you know, the people that have been in this matrix for so long, will do anything to protect this matrix. It makes no sense to me to want to protect this horrible matrix that was created by, by the devil instead of us, instead of wanting to protect our freedom. But some people are just the opposite of what I am. They want to protect this matrix that's enslaved humanity for thousands of years. You know what I'm saying? They have a problem with you not wearing your mask when if you want to protect yourself, go ahead and wear a mask. What you messing with me for? You know what I'm saying? What are you asking me to wear a mask when I, you know what I'm saying? Whoever wants to protect themselves from this so-called uh, corona, you know what I'm saying? They can wear a mask. Go ahead and ride ahead and do it. I ain't got no job to, you know what I'm saying? I'm a sincere person. I'm real. I don't need to act like I'm protecting you. I don't need to act like I'm doing, uh, basically, I don't need to put on a facade like everybody else does. Me, I do things. If I do something, I really mean it when I do it. If I do something, I do it for the goodness of everybody, man. I actually care about people. <laughs> These people want to act like they care about you. They'll put a mask on and, and go try to spread rumors that they, they, that that a person like me, right, since I'm real, right, that I'm a bad person not wearing a mask. I'm just giving an example. They're going to be like, he's a bad person because he's not wearing a mask. He refuses to. He doesn't care about you people. He doesn't care about humanity. He's evil. <laughs> When the people that are evil are the people that I'm looking at. The people that are wearing a mask to act like there's something better than you. To act like they're actually the ones that care. These people are the types of people that will do things deliberately to make you look like a bad person when they're the bad people. But they'll be like, no, I'm a good person because I'm wearing a mask all the time. I'm a good person because I'm wearing a mask all the time. I'm a good person because I stop at every fucking stop sign and make sure that the people at the, uh, you know, I do it correctly, man. I stop at every stop sign, you know, just to make sure those people cross because I'm a good person. So you know what happens? That type of brainwashing goes on to the, all of humanity. That brainwashing gets spread to other people and to the other people, to everybody. So when you go to go to a stop sign and not stop for the other people because you're having a bladder problem, you're in pain and stuff, and you don't stop and you keep going, they flip you off, and then it makes you feel like, oh, I gotta explain myself to everyone that I'm having a health problem, so I'm a bad person because I'm not stopping at every stop sign for every person. Man, we got issues. Things happen. You gotta have compassion, empathy. You see, that's a psychopath. That is sociopathic shit right there. When people assume something negative about you just because you're not doing what the norm is, just because you're not stopping at every stop sign for every person across, those are the types of people that will flip you off because they only see things one way. They only see the world in one way. You don't stop at a stop sign for somebody to cross fully, you're a piece of shit. That's how they are. The evil people, that's how they think. I never wish nothing on nobody. Any time that I ever got mad at someone, like, in that type of way, I knew it was wrong. I knew it was 
some outside force that kind of like um has brainwashed me lightly into acting like that, and I always felt uh, uh I always corrected myself. I felt I knew that wasn't who I was. I those are the types of people that are that have enemies that hold big ass grudges. These people hold grudges, man. The type of people that see things only one way, or I, I see that as a sociopath, as a hypocrite, as a, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I see that as, that's something you don't want to be, my brother. You don't want to be that type of person. That's the problem with society. That, that's a lack of empathy right there. That's like, you got to understand this guy might have something going on. You know what I'm saying? He might not be able to win. He might not have seen you correctly. I mean, you cannot assume something about somebody and, and be wholeheartedly, these people wholeheartedly believe these things about a person that, and they actually judge you over over something that they don't even know why you, you know you know what I'm saying? You took the, that action that you're not doing what everyone, it doesn't matter. Just because you ain't doing what everybody else is doing doesn't mean you're a bad person. You're just real and righteous and real. You know what I'm saying? I know when someone's doing something out of, out of, um, out of like it's the rule you gotta stop. So like he's actually stopping because he cares. I do things from my heart out of love, no matter what, to everybody. I'm not fake. If I'm a, if I'm gonna do something, I do it because I believe in it. And if I don't do something, I do it because I believe in it. I I have my values, my my code of conduct, and I don't break them for nobody. Like Scarface. I got my word and my balls, and I don't break them for nobody. You feel me? These people are fake. They just want to put on an image. You know what I'm saying? Fake ass. They're fake as fuck. Man, they're so fake. People are so fake. They want to. They, they want to make themselves feel like they're good people. So they're going, yeah, I stop at everything. I smile. I, That's fake as shit. That's why I didn't like it. And I'm, I'm you know, I grew up as a Greek person, but we're all just human beings from different areas of the world, but I grew up, I'm Greek, you know what I'm saying, and uh, I always liked Greece, because the pedestrians didn't have the right of way there, maybe they were supposed to, but anyway, so pedestrians just uh, would have to watch out for the cars, and you know, the cars would, um, I mean, the pedestrians would have the right of way, but you know, you would know, when you go out on the street there, you let the cars go, we have to stop for every person walking everywhere over here, Destroying our brakes every time and it just makes it kind of more difficult. Um, we, we should just be understanding and not be empathetic all around. Like you, you can never get mad at someone for um, not doing what you would do in a certain situation. Situation because you're not in their situation. You're not them. You might not be having a stomach problem or something going on with your car. And for any, I'm just giving an example. You know what I'm saying? Don't be fake. All right. Understand that everybody's going through certain things, everybody has different views, and that that person is not a person to hate on just because they don't have the same views as you. You understand? You can't, no, people, you can't hate on somebody for not having the same views as you, even the same value. Man, I wish, I wish the best to my enemies, to the people that I love. I, you know, treat other people the exact way you like to be treated every time. Alright? Would you like to have somebody mistake you for being a bad person or mean or, or rude for not doing something that you would do at that moment because maybe they're having a problem you don't know about, all right? Don't just go on like what you, all right, here you go. Don't just, uh, you know, look at things through a little bit. See things from all angles like a kaleidoscope, all right? Don't, don't just be like, asshole, that's the worst person you could be. You could, you, you are the problem with society, man. You know, you, you're taking things the wrong way. That person was didn't mean any harm. Just like this one guy, right? He didn't... I, didn't, I was, you know, in my own world, in my mind. This this is the sickness with society. This is what makes society say sick. This is straight up from the devil. This is satanic. This mind frame, this narcissistic mind frame is satanic. It's when you're going, when you open, when you have Pete's Coffee, for example, Starbucks, you open the door, you don't notice the guy because you're, you're Andreas, that's my name, right? I'm being me in my own world, in my head. Don't ever, remember, Elder, do not ever explain yourself to anybody. I want y'all to know that. Don't explain yourself to anybody, ever. 
ever. You don't need to. These are the types of people, right, that, that <laughs> they'll hold the door open for you, right? At Starbucks, for example, while you're leaving, they'll hold the door open for you. I didn't ask for nobody to hold the door open for me. And remember what I said. When you do something, you do it because you actually want to do it. You care. And you don't care about the response you get. You did it because you're a genuine person. That is who you are, and that's why you're doing it. This guy is, is the problem with society. This is, this is what I call fake as fuck. Excuse me for my language. So he holds the door open for me. I don't say thank you because I didn't even notice him holding the door open for me till it was a little late. And I'm not going to... This is a, this is crazy, bro. These people you just got to not even talk to. So uh, these, these are the people that you're like, that are so opposite of you. you you're real. You're a righteous person. You don't, you don't mean any harm. But these are the people. So this guy holds the door open for me. I leave. I don't say anything because I just noticing that much, usually I say thank you when people do that, you know, that's the right way to do it, it's the right way, and this guy, because I didn't say thank you, I'm walking away, uh, you know, I'm like uh, 10 feet away from the door after he op held it open for me while I was exiting the store, and he goes, fucking asshole, and I'm like, excuse me, in my head, I'm like, and then my, you know, it registered why this guy said that, I was like, all right, sure, I'm not going to explain myself. I'm not going to say, hey, man, I didn't mean any harm by not saying thank you. No, yeah, that's what he said when he said, thank you, you fucking asshole, because I didn't say anything. Because he was holding the door open for me. In my mind, I was like, oh, thank you, I didn't notice him. You know, I was all stressed out about something. I was on my, on a, rushing to go to work. See, these people, he must have been having a bad day. That's how I think. I'm sincere. I didn't, I didn't get angry at him for that. I didn't go back and say, would you come here? You know what I'm saying? But those are the type of people that actually mean it. Like, this guy's an asshole for not saying thank you. Because these people must have been so badly treated in their life, and they just think everyone's an asshole. See, that guy was holding the door open for me to see if I would say thank you or not. And if I don't say thank you, in his book, I'm a asshole. I'm a piece of shit. Horrible person. And I'm the type of guy that's done so much good for so many people, whether I know him personally or not, that I still get called an asshole. You can never win, right? <laughs> that's how it feels, but God watches everything. See, that guy was wrong. He was out of pocket, out of line for doing that. Me, I didn't do nothing wrong. See, that's what causes you to have anxiety and, and self-consciousness and have, be self-conscious and have low self-esteem and all that stuff. Or because those are the people that you feel like you, you're, you're just so opposite of them. You're the type of person that holds the door open for an asshole, for a good person, for an evil person. You hold the door open and you don't expect nothing in return. You don't think in your mind, oh, he's an asshole. But because you have empathy, you understand that someone could be going through something, you understand what anxiety means, that that person might not even have noticed you holding the door open for them, so you don't think like that. Evil people, people that are, that have, that are, don't have, that have hate in them, things like that. You don't, when you do something for somebody, you do it because that is who you are, and you want to do it, and you don't expect nothing in return. There was a story of this one guy, he did so many favors for so many people, and then they didn't do it, they didn't give anything back, and he ended up killing himself. Okay, well, at least should have. You don't kill yourself because you don't do something expecting something in return. You do something out of the love that you have for the person, for humanity, the sincerity, the respect that you have for yourself, for what you would do. You treat other people the way you like to be treated, whether you get rid of the reciprocation of a thank you or whether they do it back to you or not. You do it because that's the right thing to do, and that's what you would do for somebody else, all right? You holding the door open for somebody, them not saying anything, and you calling them an asshole and believing that wholeheartedly, you're the asshole. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Period. When you do something, you do it because that's who you are. You don't expect them to reciprocate. You don't expect to thank you. And even if someone doesn't say thank you, you don't, you don't, you don't judge them on that. You don't, you don't make a judgment on that's who they are. Nah, you don't know shit about them. You don't know them personally. You don't know what their thoughts are. You don't know if they actually notice you doing that. Nah, that's the problem with society. Don't ever, ever 
second guess yourself, question yourself, or explain yourself. The situations I got, the one I just explained. Don't ever question yourself. You are a good person, a righteous one, you'll get, and you'll get through anything that you're going through. And these people going to have their day in court. And not in the, in the court where you got to make your appointment. There ain't no bail. There ain't no warrant. We're talking about the court, the Lord's court. God, the Most High, God of Israel. They'll have their day. Don't worry about it. Those people that call you an asshole and believe it and w wish the worst for you when you didn't do nothing wrong, they'll have their day. Yeah, judgment's going to come on, onto all of us. Remember that. And remember, you know, you're supposed to honor thy mother and thy father, but you're always supposed to put the God, the Most High God of Israel, first. You're, supposed to, you're not supposed to love, you know, your family or anything in, of, in this world more than you love God. Because the Lord comes first, Father. That's the first Father. So don't let nobody push you around, all right? Don't don't let nobody judge you for for the actions you make. They don't know what you know. What I'm saying I always had good intentions in everything I did in my life, and I got treated the worst out of the most evil, the most evil sucker, the most evil person at every job. I put in the most work out of anybody else in some jobs. Such a hard worker, always on time, always was just minding my own business, a nice guy. I would make people laugh naturally. I wouldn't I wouldn't try to start any problems with nobody. And these people would be like, yeah, look at this guy. He's always keeping to himself. He's always making the customers happy. He's always just doing the right job. It's like you portray what uh, the, the what you you portray an image that that is the right image to be that everybody should be following. So since I portrayed an image that everybody should be following, I was minding my own business, keeping to myself, just trying to get my job done. I ain't trying to start problems with nobody. I'm not gossiping like everybody else is doing to, amongst each other. I'm not talking about other people. I'm focusing on the customer. I'm doing what the customer needs. I'm making the customer happy. I'm tending to the customer because that is the main point of, um, that's the most important thing, and especially the job that I was in, the server industry, in the restaurant industry, I'm doing my job, I'm always on time, I'm always working hard, I'm always putting the customer first, and I would get lower hours for no reason, I would add, I would always be on time, I would always call when I'm five minutes late, I would always call when I'm 30 seconds late, I would always put so much care and effort and thought into everything, I would tell the manager, into making sure they know if I'm arriving a little late, while other people would get moved up to manager, right, for example, or were given the best hours, the best times, the this and that, and they would get moved up to the, a higher position, would get better hours, have a more flexible schedule, the manager would be just, you know, glued to them, they'd be like best friends and shit, because they would both gossip, they both share these horrible values of being lazy, you know what I'm saying, gossiping amongst people, they would find values, they would find that they, they match, the, you know, the manager and this person, they both talk shit about people, they both laugh about stupid ass shit, they both gossip, they both don't give a shit about the, the, the customer, Andre is me, I really do, so we're gonna put the other guy or the other girl as a uh, better hours because she is, uh, you know, more like me. That, that's the only way I could think about it. They, they see that Andres, I'm the person like an all-star, like an all-star, you know, worker, right? I'm like a type of person that everyone should be like, right? I set an example. I actually, I, I, you know, and this is how you shove it in their face naturally. It's, this is how it gets shoved into people's face, into the haters' faces naturally. When every guest go, goes up to the manager and says, how great the service is that you're giving, right? They always would say my name. They would call on me. I would only be there for three months, maybe four months, and people would especially, and they would call on me. They would request to sit in my section so I serve them. That's how you shove it in their face without shoving it in their face. It just, you know, God does it for you. You know what I'm saying? What you do, right? Your fruits will bear, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what do you say? What you reap, you shall sow, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I know who I am, and the customers know who they want, and it is what it is. So I, when I, so I know when I go up to the manager and I say, "Hey, I, I thought you said you would give me those better shifts. I thought you said you would, uh, you would give me those, uh, you would give me more hours." And uh, I thought you, I told her, I thought you said you were gonna give me, uh, 
better uh, better shift. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. I mean, I come uh, I come every day to work um, on time. All the customers seem like they like me. They're all were saying good comments, and they would get red right in the face. They do like you, but you know, and they make up some stupid ass excuse. They wouldn't even know what to say. These people don't even know what to say. They say some shit that doesn't even make any sense to why you're not getting those hours. You know what I'm saying? They're just fake as fuck. They want people that they match more with. They, you know, I make them uncomfortable. People that are doing things right, that are righteous, make these people that are evil uncomfortable because everything that you are, they wish they were, but they don't have the courage to be. You're doing everything right. They're not going to put the person that they're intimidated by that's setting an example and making them look bad. Uh, they're not going to give me better hours. They're going to try to get rid of me and snuff me out because I'm making them look bad. Because I'm doing everything good. I'm getting all these great comments. I might take her job or something. Is what she's thinking. I might take this, this, this lady's job. The manager's job. Oh my God, he's not gossiping. Something's up with this guy. This guy does not like us. Start getting all paranoid and possessive. When you, don't, when you can't understand why someone's the way they are, that means, that means that's because you're nothing like them. That's because you ain't nothing like them. I don't understand why people hate gossip, talk about the next man, and don't mind their own business. But I, I, I definitely try to, so I can talk about it and teach people something and teach myself something, you know, and learn from, from that experience. You know what I'm saying? I never understood why people weren't sincere and didn't keep it real and didn't bother them and just, and just didn't, and didn't just stick to the job and to... To what, what was right. I always did what was right. You know what I'm saying? People, will, you will go through a lot of things when you're doing things right. You will go through a lot of things, man. A lot of problems when, you, when you're righteous. Because you know, you, you realize that that's a good thing. The more haters you have, the more you're doing something right. These people hate you because they ain't you. They hate you because they aren't you. They hate everything about you because they're nothing like you. They're jealous of you. They know deep down that that's, you're doing what they should be doing. You're acting the way they, they know they should be acting. You're a sincere, confident, honest, hardworking, strong, good person with good intentions, and they are not. That's why when they hold the door open for you, and they say asshole after you don't say thank you, because their intentions were never good. They don't know how to be good. They only can copy you being good. They only can copy what is good, but they're not good. They don't have good intentions behind what they do. They don't have a love. They don't do things out of love. They do things because it's the law. <laughs> it's the law to, 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 to stop at a stop sign. I, when I stop at a stop sign for you, my baby, I do it because I actually care. I actually want to do it. I mean, be, I'm not fake. I'm a real motherfucker. You dealing with real motherfuckers, though. You dealing with the real ones out here. I, I do think, motherfucker, if I don't like you, I'm going to say, motherfucker, I don't like you. I do not like you. You feel me? I ain't fake. I ain't going to call somebody and gossip um, about you after. Hey, I'm not got better things to do with my time. We, you know, people like me, we, we speak out loud. We're not scared of what people think about us. We don't give a shit about what anyone thinks about us. We're real as fuck, and we're proud that we're real because we've been through so much. We ain't nothing can phase us. We're real and we're proud we're real. And we stick to the real and we stay true no matter what. And when we do something, you can trust us with it. And you know you can trust people like me. People know who they can trust. People know. You know who you can trust and who you cannot. And there's reasons why you can trust somebody and why you don't trust the other person you just met. Because this guy right here is sincere. He's real. You can tell that he cares. And this guy doesn't give a shit. And I've had customers tell me that too, and I got nothing to prove to myself. I know I care, and I know people can see that. All right? So always go with your gut feeling. I right? know who you are, and always stand tall. Keep your head up no matter what. Even if you're fed up, keep your head up, set your bread up. Don't worry. Always get up. All right? Don't, don't worry about nothing. You're going to be all right because the Lord is always with you no matter what. No matter what you're going through. Remember, a lot of people play are just playing a part, man. They're playing a character. That's all people want to do is play a character. You know what I'm saying? Stay true to you, man. I'll be back with more. All right. Spiritual Socrates. Salute. Signing out.